Hey everybody, um, I think it's been a couple weeks since I posted a tipper strategy video. Uh, my master's program, the semester started back up and then just between like work and life, uh, I needed just a little bit of a break, but um, I had a few videos planned out and then I kind of stumbled upon this one that I was excited to post. Uh, I was playing this guy that I'd played in the past. Uh, he's like a decent division one rivals player. And the first period he was just like skill zoning me really hard. Um, he was bringing a forward down in front of the net. Um, I was running behind the net like I usually do, and I just wasn't able to generate a lot of offense. And I was trying, right? Like, so I was thinking that like there has to be an easier way to go about this. Um, and I think, as I've said before, it's the offense's responsibility to drive play and actually make people play defense. But after the first period, not really getting any chances, um, I switched to overload going into the second period. Uh, because there's usually like a forward waiting at the side of the net for like a rebound or even like a one-timer But my thinking was that like if he's not going to pressure me I should be able to get off a lot of rebound shots. So I'm going to go into some of the replays here um, And show the types of goals I was getting So this first one here You can kind of see uh, in general what I was doing for the second and third period um, I could pretty much circle around in the corner or on the boards just because he wasn't pressuring me um, and then I would either have one forward at the least or two forwards waiting at the side of the net. Um, this one here with overload will always be there. Um, this other forward was here just because the play had reversed um, and he was still stuck here. Eventually he would have transitioned this spot with overload, um, but just because the puck was moving, he was waiting right there, right? So knowing that there's always at least that one guy right there. Um, and then you can kind of see this play develop. I was just skating in right here taking a slap shot low opposite corner. Um, sometimes the puck will bounce up higher if the goalie actually redirects it. Um, but the low rebounds are kind of the shots you want to get because it bounces out perfectly to your forward that's literally always waiting there, right? So this one, uh, the defensive AI stumbles with the puck. They don't get a you know clean puck pickup animation. And then my guy's able to hit the rebound home. Uh, this next example is a shot that looks lucky, but it actually goes in more than you expect, right? So same thing. He's not pressuring me at all. Um, just take a slap shot low. It goes into that, right? So this goal has been in the game for a few years where if you take a slap shot whenever your guy's not facing the goalie and facing the opposite way, sometimes it'll go in clean, right? So it's lucky in this sense, but I would say it goes in like maybe 5 to 10% of the time. Um, and if it didn't, if I was able to get that rebound, I still had a guy in that area where maybe he hits it home. Um, this one here, uh, there's even more people in front of the net. Same thing as his first goal, right? Skate in a little bit, shoot low, opposite corner. He has two people in front of the net. I have two people in front of the net. Literally bounces off his defenseman. Um, a little lucky again, but whenever you take, you know, 35 to 40 shots um, against somebody that skill zones, you're probably going to get at least four goals. Um, and then this last one here, uh, very similar to the first one. That's it's actually like a clean rebound. Um, same thing. Once again, he's not pressuring me. He has guys in front of the net. I have that forward that's always waiting there if you use overload. Um, skate in, take that slap shot, bounces cleanly. McCann's right there. His guy can't pick up the puck and I'm able to hit the rebound in. Um, I think it's like a very uh, variance way to play in terms of like you're, you're hoping for luck, right? But if somebody's skill zoning you and you're able to get these shots off, like this game I was able to get 38 shots, you're probably gonna score at least four to five goals. Um, and if they're not gonna play defense, you might as well do this, right? So in turn, if you do this, like let's say somebody's skill zoning you in, your, in the first period, you switch to this in the second, you might get two goals from it. It forces them to actually play defense and then you can just play how you normally would. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, um, the link to my Discord is in the video description. I post the updated strategies that I use um, in my Huck games. Um, my schedule has been very consistent on Twitch. We're almost at partner. Um, Thursday, Friday, lunchtime, 12 Eastern to 1 Eastern, standard time. And then on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, 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 I said I sounded like an old person. Uh, Saturday and Sunday, usually uh, early in the morning, maybe like 9 to like 11 a.m. But thank you guys for watching. Um, and then if you do try this against somebody that's doing this, let me know how it goes.